Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome back to my channel Django World. So in yesterday's video, I have told that we will start with user creation form. But before that, let's complete contact us form. So to complete this contact us form, we need to create models in our main app. So let's create model. Here I will create class and I will name as contact. And it will extract models dot model so first let me zoom and disable my copilot now your colon i will add few fields okay so fields which are in our contact so we need first name, last name, email, phone number and message. Okay. So before that, let me start toggle screencast mode. So control shift P and I will enable this. Now save this form. Come over here and we will write first name. So first underscore name which is going to be cat field so models dot care field and max length of this is going to be 200 i need last name so i will replicate this line i will write last name over here so last name all the content are going to be same we need email so e underscore mail is equals to models dot email field and max length is going to be 200 or let's say 250 then we need phone number phone underscore number is equals to models dot integer field then we need message so here i will write message sorry sorry i will write contact message not message oops so underscore message is equals to models dot text field then we will give timestamp is equals to models dot date time field and here we will give auto add now is equals to true sorry true okay so save this and here we will give blank is equals to true also so true okay now we need to migrate our changes so i will open my terminal i will delete this open it again so my virtual environment will be activated automatically and here i will write python manage.py make migrations and i will migrate the changes so migrate okay our migration has been done so clear the terminal now there are two ways to fetch data from contact form and enter it in our database first we can access whole data using name attribute and another is to create forms.py file and access those data we are going to see both ways so first we are going to see how we can fetch those data with name attribute and store it in our database so here i will write name is equals to 
first name so first underscore name here also right sorry we don't need comma name is equals to last underscore name then here we will write name is equals to email e underscore mail here we will write name is equals to phone underscore number and here we already have name attribute added but we need to write the content inside this single uh, double quotation so write content uh, contact message contact underscore message save this file and come to views.py now so here in contact function we will first check for the post method so to check it we will write if request dot method method double equals to post then we will take first name so first underscore name is equals to request dot post and here we will write the name which we have provided in name attribute so first underscore name copy that go to contact form i will close all the non needy files okay paste it over here same way for last name copy request dot post in square bracket we will copy la the name from here paste it then we have email so e underscore email is equals to request dot post and we have e underscore mail then we have phone number is equals to request dot post and we will write sorry not post sorry not post post yeah and we will copy this four and phone underscore number and paste it over here and we last have contact underscore message is equals to request dot post which will be coming from here copy and paste now here we will check for the length of the form okay like if we will not check length of the form then anyone can submit blank data which we don't want and it will show us the error okay so here what i will do is i will first go to check the length so if length of first underscore name is less than two or length of last underscore name is less than two or length of e underscore mail is less than let's say five or length of phone underscore number is less than nine 
और लेन ऑफ मैसेज सॉरी कॉन्टैक्ट अंडर स्कोर मैसेज इज लेस थैन लेट से फाइव कैरेक्टर देन वी विल गिव एरर बट we we have not set up our message framework so here i will redirect to the home page if we will get error so return redirect to home okay we have already imported the redirect function from django shortcuts sorry from django shortcuts okay now if the this condition is false then we will want to save our data so else we will make variable save underscore data is equals to the model name first we will need to import the model so contact we will copy this model name and paste it over here and in parenthesis we will pass the data so first underscore name so here i will show you now first underscore name is equals to first underscore name which means this okay this variable is coming from contact model and this variable is coming from this if condition no matter if your variable your name is different then you can write that variable name here but this variable name should be similar to this field name okay so comma last name copy paste it equals to last name of here comma e underscore mail should be equal to e underscore mail comma phone number equals to phone number okay comma contact underscore message should be equal to contact underscore message we don't need to add this field because if once we hit on the submit button then it will automatically generate time and date for us so close this model save this and lastly we need to write save data dot save and if we are successfully saving the data then it should be direct us on contact page so i copy this line from here i will paste go to urls copy this name and paste it over here save let's run the server so python manage.py run server open your browser and let's go to contact us form here i will write yash patel i will write yash at the rate yash.com here i will write phone number one two three four five six and eight nine zero and here i will write hello just a dummy text i am yash so i will hit on submit okay so our data is not saved just because we have not added post method in our contact us form so here in form tag we need to add our method so method is equals to post save this come over here remove all this hit enter okay 
and hit enter okay refresh now we will add again zero and here i will add hello i am yash tell and hit on submit button now you can see we have error of crs csrf token so when we pass post method from our html form we need to add csrf token this this csrf token is provided by django and it helps us to save our data while we are transferring to data uh, database okay okay so come back click here and refresh now again one two three four five six seven eight nine hello sorry hello i am yash and i will click on submit okay looks like our data has been entered so i will go to admin panel i will register my contact model here so i will import it first i will replicate above line copy contact paste it save come over here and refresh go to contact and we can see our data has been entered yash patel our email id the phone number and our message okay so yeah this is it for today's video guys so in next video we are going to create form.py file here and we will write our form in python and render that form in html so i will see you in next one thank you